All right, you fuckers. This is an intellectual property experiment that I've been trying for a while, and I figured why not do it on something that I that I feel in my heart of hearts is fair use, but YouTube disagrees. Uh, so recently, Batcode uploaded a uh, a Lefty Pole Choir "I'll Make a Red Out of You" video, and YouTube kept taking it down on grounds that it was visually matching Mulan, Disney. And Disney's a fucking powerhouse company, so they're going to fucking fight it to the end, no matter what he does, even if he claims it's fair use. So, fuck Disney. Um, so, he had no choice but to upload it to VidMe. I'm sure a lot of people have heard of VidMe. I hadn't until now. But what I'm, what I'm going to be experimenting with is something called visual cryptography. And uh, essentially what that is, is a visual way of encrypting video. Uh, and this is a white paper. It's super complicated. But I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do it to this extent, not yet anyway. So what I did was I took Batco's video and did a couple adjustments in After Effects. Uh, so it's the full video. The audio has not been modified, so that kept in place. But I essentially cut it up into squares and inverted the inverted the hue 180 degrees and also shifted the image or flipped the image. Uh, so, uh, YouTube does not detect this as, as anything. <coughs> so essentially what you do is, you take the URL, you open up VLC, and in VLC, you do Command N or Control N, it works on Mac or Windows, uh, and it brings up the network interface. You paste in the URL, you click Open, and as soon as it opens, you pause it, and then Command or Control E to bring up the video effects. Um, and what I've done... Based on this is based on purely my my method, and I might improve on this method to make it even even more foolproof. Uh, image adjust the hue is already set, but the hue has to be set to 180 to counteract the 180 degrees that I had set it in After Effects. Um, nothing to crop. Go to geometry, transform by 180 so it flips the image back or rotates the image back 180 degrees, and then go to wall. Now wall by default I think is like three rows, three columns. Set it to two rows, two columns for this one. And I'll put the link in the uh, in the description of this video for this original one. And essentially what you do is you puzzle piece it. So you take, this one's obviously top corner, this one is bottom corner. And then this one appears to be that one. I don't know why, oh, I skipped ahead. That's fine. I don't know why these yellow or these uh, green seams are here. Let me move this out of the way. But essentially, you line it all up. And obviously, this is a little bothersome, but I'm still trying to figure it out as I go along. This is the most rudimentary way that I've figured out to do this easily with YouTube videos. And the reason, I mean, why, why not stick with, uh, with VidMe, right? What if you want the views? YouTube is a huge, huge platform. And I think, I really think that anyone that's of the mind of someone that would even watch these videos to begin with would want to experiment with something like this with their videos or at least like be curious as to how you would decode a video like this so you can play the video from here it'll play in all four at the same time uh i think it's a little easier on windows because on windows you can actually take one of these windows and drag it to the bottom or to the top right and top left and all that and it'll basically align in all four corners uh, but i haven't experimented with that yet so essentially this is how you would play an encrypted video encrypted to the standards of what you set in VLC. So you're essentially negating the negation. So this is, I'm, I'm gonna experiment with this a little bit and see where it goes. I don't see it being an issue. I might experiment with like full episodes of, of some old show so I don't get too much attention, but I don't know, see where it goes. It's, uh, it's interesting. So yeah, stay woke.